In today's video we are going to take a look at a semi-new limited release from Wii Knife, the Cybernetic. So this knife was actually released some time ago, I'm not sure a few weeks ago. Uh, I did get it upon release but I just haven't recorded the video until, well, now. Uh, and now is actually the 2nd of September, so it's, yeah, it's been out for a while. There are a few videos out on YouTube as well, so I guess the people that are really interested in the model, they have probably already seen those videos. But I will bring my input as well for those interested. So what I have here is, as can be seen on the box, let's see. You can press pause and read it yourself if you want, or I can read it for you now. So here we have the Cybernetic, the polished bead blasted titanium handle, polished bead blasted CPM 20 CV blade. Limited edition 205 pieces. Interesting that they go with like 205 and not just cut it at 200, but yeah, whatever. So the typical box here for the limited run uh, with the, the circle here stating limited edition on top here. We're gonna remove this part. Then we have, yeah. Your typical box, limited edition, text down there. Let's see if we can get it open. And we are greeted with a certificate of authenticity, as we do with all limited editions from Wii Knife, with this nice silver stamp here. So this states that my knife is uh, serial number 182 out of 205. Not the most you know, exciting serial number, I guess there aren't many numbers that are actually interesting. I guess like 1 or being top 10 or I guess 205 could be an interesting serial number. But aside from that it's you know pretty much, yeah, doesn't matter really. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like. You can press pause now if you want to take the time and you know, read into it the details yourself. But I'm going to put it aside for now. But it is nice that they do include a certificate of authenticity. We got this sticker of a Wii Knife Arrakis. Got some silica gel. We got another sticker with some text on, etc. We've all seen that before. We got some instructions, maintenance, etc. We got the typical uh, piece of cloth there, which I find to be nice. We also got some, yeah, what's this? Yeah, okay, so small booklet with some not upcoming releases because these have all been released actually some time ago. But yeah, just some, some yeah, random stuff about some existing models. And then we've got this pouch, let's see. Your typical Wii Knife nylon pouch, which I think is great and that carries or can carry two knives. It only carries once, uh, once one right now. And inside here we do have the knife itself and some plastic wrapping. So this is what the knife looks like. And it's going to be a fingerprint magnet with this polished bead blasted gray titanium. Uh, it is not covered in fingerprints right now, but it will be in mere seconds. Uh, my first thoughts seeing this knife is that it has a very, you know, elegant, sleek look to it. I'm not gonna say minimalistic because there is actually quite a lot going on here, but in more subtle ways, I would say. I really do like what I see. Very, very nice, elegant look to it. And I do like, you know, the, uh, the, the gray polished here and the blue pivot color, like, and the blue screw or screws. It does have quite a nice look to it. Let's unfold it now. This is obviously a front flipper with some jimping here. Flips open fairly easily I would say. Uh, I'm not gonna lie I would probably have preferred this one to be a, uh, a regular you know uh, 
back flipper or not not a front flipper but I think I can get used to this so should we go over the specs before we talk about the design elements here in both terms of blade and handle I think we should do that so obviously here we have titanium scales we have a CPM 20 CV blade I mean that is the the one steel that we knife is working the absolute most with right now we have a um, total length here of 225 millimeters so 22.5 um, centimeters we've got a blade length of 99 millimeters 9.9 .9 centimeters I'm tempted to just say that you know the blade is 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters we've got a uh, close length let's see a close length of 128 millimeters we've got a blade thickness of four millimeters and I'm glad I went with with four millimeters instead of their usual or not usual but we have seen 3.2 millimeters on a lot of we knife releases recently and I think that four millimeters is quite nice it will be difficult seeing the actual full four millimeters here because as you can see we have this swedge grind that starts all the way back so if you want to see the full thickness this let's see here is where you need to look because the swedge grind starts right away so there we have the full actual thickness of the spine or the blade the weight of this one is specified to 123 grams it feels actually fairly light in my hand I would say it is a frame lock design with a pretty solid lockup let me see here I would say around 25% lockup there is no blade play there is no lock stick and the closing action is more or less hydraulic opening action is also very nice and snappy we've got a pocket milled pocket clip here let's see if you can get some details nothing you know super special but it really blends in nicely with this um, milled what should I say here like there is some milling here on top of the, the pocket clip but I would say that it goes very well together with the overall design we have some pretty interesting dual backspacers not sure that I have actually seen this type of backspacer before it does have a nice look to it with these pointy ends or semi pointy ends we do have a um, let's see if we can get it in shot here a lanyard hole here doesn't look like it if you just look like it at this angle but if you turn it around a bit there is actually a possibility to use a lanyard should you want to I never do that but should you want to you do have the option to do so uh, let's see uh, lock bar steel insert in terms of blade I really do like you know the transitioning from the the handle here into the blade it looks I mean like one one construction or one you know difficult to find the, the adequate word really here but I, I I do like how it just you know the the lines looks really great and there is some interesting stuff going on with the knife blade as well there aside from the the swedge grind here we do have some additional uh, interesting grind lines and much as we, as we saw with the uh, diatomic or the atomic there is some I'm not even sure we're gonna call this this shape here on the blade but it, it has a nice you know aesthetic look to it I think it will be difficult to see it you know in a Damascus blade or in a, a coated blade but here it does look quite nice uh, I think that 
it's there only for you know aesthetic reasons but it goes as with everything here with map it just goes great along with the general uh, aesthetics of of the knife itself let's check the balance pointer shall we it is a light knife and it is as you can see very well balanced I, I wonder if it's some internal milling here, it should be, right? Yeah, we got quite a bit of internal milling on the show side and there's also uh, quite a bit of uh, internal milling on the uh, non show side. As always, it's really difficult to, to catch this on camera, but there is a lot of internal milling uh, going on here, but it's, it is not going to be easy to distinguish here on the camera just just take my word for it that there is a lot of stuff milled out here on the inside of the knife so i wear size 10 gloves fairly large hands placing the knife in my hand looks like this it is a comfortable knife no sharp edges no protruding areas i uh, can't feel the, the pocket clip it feels quite nice and you do have a lot of grip area in terms of reverse grip yeah, it feels good in a reverse grip as well not that i will ever use this one in a reverse grip but i'm just throwing it out there really nice action and I am not you know, a front flipper uh, person per se, but I will say that this one works well. So that's it, I guess, for you know, general design, Argos, specs, etc. Just a really classy, elegant, and large knife. with really smooth opening and closing action we are getting some some dirt or not dirt but some fingerprints here but that's you know that's the curse when you want to go with polished bead blasted titanium it will be a lot of fingerprints and stuff uh, getting onto the scales easily removable though but that is the, the one downside See if we can get some nice close-up shots here. It doesn't really feel like, you know, your typical Wii knife that I've got to say. Very different from the, the knives that I have uh, reviewed on the channel lately. But in a good way. Definitely, that much I can say. So let's uh, let's do a bit of sharpness testing. I'm slicing some different kinds of paper, and uh, hoping that this knife will perform as nice as the other ones have done that I have reviewed in the last couple of months. Let's try the factor edge. I'm going to do some slicing of uh, just you know, regular printing paper and some really thin uh, newspaper. So not a whole lot of testing, just you know, getting a feel of the factory edge. Uh, and I've been pretty impressed by the, the standard that Wii Knife has had uh, with their latest runs. So hopefully this one will perform just as nice as uh, the previous ones I've tested. Yeah, so I mean this one will obviously slice paper and fairly well. Yeah, so slicing uh, printing paper, definitely no issues. Let's try this out now. Make sure it's visible in the camera as well. I mean, 
will obviously slice the newspaper as well. And this is a thin and semi-difficult newspaper actually. It's, I mentioned it in one of my previous videos that I've actually changed the, the newspaper that I'm using to a type that is perhaps the most difficult out of all uh, newspaper types that I have tried. Um, but yeah, obviously it will uh, it will slice the newspaper. Yeah, so I would say that this is probably on par with uh, with other knives that I have uh, tried from Wii Knife. They are sharp knives, uh, definitely. Time for some quick final thoughts and conclusions about uh, Limited Wii Knife Cybernetic. A really elegant, stylish, sleek, non-typical Wii Knife release. So this one was or is offered in five different versions, this being one of them. Uh, but there's also a um, Tiger Stripe Flame Titanium version, a Black Titanium Black Stonewash version, a Titanium Black Stonewash, Stonewash version with etching and then we have the typical uh, Dama Steel version as well. But I thought that this one was the best looking one of the bunch. And looking at the sales numbers, people seem to agree with that. This is a light, but still fairly large, well-balanced front flipper. Let's see, like that. It offers great ergos and great looks. Although being a bit of a fingerprint magnet due to the polished handle and the bead blast. So yeah, but I mean it is it is what it is. It does look good and it's easy to remove any fingerprint or another dirt getting on the scales or the blade for that matter. It offers fantastic fit and finish and it's really smooth opening and closing action. This is, in my opinion, an easy recommendation. At first glance it may look kind of boring or simplistic, but there is actually quite a lot going on with this knife. I prefer the, the aesthetics here over many of other Wii knife releases and I I tend to criticize Wii Knife for being over the top in terms of aesthetics and mixing and mismatching colors and materials, but this time they really nailed it. This is a fantastic looking knife. I really do like you know all the lines and how it flows, you know, it's just to me this knife is close to perfection in some sense. Maybe hard for, for some people to, to see or appreciate that, but it really feels really, really accomplished in some way. Offers some really interesting grind lines. And oh, if I fail to mention it, they actually put the serial number on, of the knife on the blade. It's really hard to see. It's put in light white text here, uh, for better or worse perhaps I should say. Uh, some people may like it, others may not. I think that it's, well it's almost not even visible so I don't really care that much about it. Uh, I do like that, I mean I, I tend to not like seeing logos etched on pocket clips or on you know the scales themselves. I think it takes away from general aesthetics but I do like the fact that they uh, did sort of a deep engraving of the Wii Knife logo here and just putting Wii. Uh, that works uh, with the, the general you know, flow or style of the cybernetic. So all in all a fantastic knife, impeccable fit and finish and if you do get a chance I would highly recommend picking it up. The Cybernetic. More than meets the eye. I think that's the, probably the best way of putting it. Oh, and it's also quite sharp.